shall praise your name. Firmly I believe and truly God is three and God is one. And I next acknowledge truly manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. My eyes watch for you before dawn. I call with my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch the night to ponder your promise. In your love hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life for your decrees. Those who humbly and justly draw near, they are far from your Lord. But you, O Lord, are close, your commands are true. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. My eyes watch for you before dawn. The Lord is my strength, I will sing his praise. He is my salvation. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he is thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him, my Father's God, and I give him praise. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh we hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger the waters piled high. The moving waters stood up like a dam. The deeps turned solid in the midst of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the plunder, I shall have my will. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. You blew with your breath, the sea closed over them. They went down like lead into the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you so glorious in holiness? Spreading fear through your deeds, you who do marvels. You stretch forth your hand, the earth engulfed them. Your love has guided the people you redeemed. Your power has led them to your holy dwelling place. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my strength. I will sing his praise. He is my salvation. O praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. 
O praise the Lord, all you nations. My brothers, I implore you by God's mercy to offer your very selves to him, a living sacrifice dedicated and fit for his acceptance, the worship offered by mind and heart. Adapt yourselves no longer to the pattern of this present world, but let your minds be remade and your whole nature thus transformed. Then you will be able to discern the will of God and to know what is good, acceptable and perfect. God is a help, she will not be moved. God is a help, she will not be moved. The Lord is with her. God is a help, she will not be moved. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God is a help, she will not be moved. You listened to her, O Lord, and did not despise those tears of hers, which moistened the earth wherever she prayed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour. In the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled. And his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us a tree from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. You listen to her, O Lord and did not despise those tears of hers, which moistened the earth wherever she prayed. With all the holy women, let us praise our Saviour and call on him in prayer. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you said of the woman who was a sinner, her many sins are forgiven because she has loved much. Grant us your forgiveness for our many sins. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, women ministered to your needs on your saving journeys. Open our eyes to see you in those who need our help. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord and Master, Mary listened to your teaching and Martha did the serving. May our faith grow ever deeper and our love go out to others. Come, Lord Jesus. 
Lord Jesus, you called those who do God's will, your brother and sister and mother. Teach us to live as members of your family. Come, Lord Jesus, at the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, comforter of the sorrowful, you accepted Saint Monica's offering of tears for the conversion of her son Augustine. Help us by their intercession to be truly contrite for our sins so that we may receive the grace of your forgiveness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.